This problem is from 2.3 number 5 in Math 126. It says a company manufactures small refrigerators. The total cost to manufacture 43 refrigerators is 76.40. So we know 43 as an input results in the cost of 76.40 as an output. The total cost to manufacture 140 refrigerators is 22,190. So 140 is 22,190. So there's our ordered pairs. Assume that the total cost C is linearly related. So the two points, these are two points, they make a line. The number of refrigerators X. So we're going to find this C of X, and this is what we're going to come up with. Um, the company manufacturers includes the fixed cost and a cost per refrigerator. So C, well, let's get the slope first. The erase would work. That'd be helpful. Okay. So if we take 22,190, subtract the 7640, then divide by 140 minus 43. In the numerator, we are going to have... Fourteen five fifty, and then in the denominator will be a ninety seven. So fourteen five fifty divided by ninety seven is one fifty, which is the slope we see here. Okay, we'll take one of the points. I'll take the smaller point or the point with the smaller values. So I'll say C minus 7640 equals, so I'm doing y minus y1 equals m, which is 150, times x minus the 43. So c minus 7640 is equal to 150x, and then we have 150 times 43, so minus 6450, and then we can add the 7640 to both sides. So our C of X, I'm kind of running out of space here, C of X equals the 150X plus, so I have 7640 minus the 6450, and I get 1190. So C of X is the 150 times X plus 1190. And so ask us how many, what's the cost of 210? So C of 210 is going to be 150 times 210 plus 1190. So 150 times 210 plus 1190, I get 32,690. Hey, it matches up with that. Then it says, what are the fixed costs? Well, that's just going to be our y-intercept. That's our 1190. What's the cost to produce each, produce each additional? That's going to be our slope. That's 150. Okay, hope that makes sense. Let me know if it doesn't.